What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today I have this half euro baton challenge lock that was pinned up by Adrian Leone. As always, you can reach his channel by clicking up on the icon in the corner there, and if you can't, uh, turn your annotations on. And attempt numbers up in this corner. This happens to be the first attempt on this lock. Uh, it works really nice, so I'm hoping there's no deep ends in here. <laughs> Um, just going to use my regular short hook, shortish hook, medium short hook, whatever you want to call it, uh, pocket pick in 22 and a half thousandths. So I'm going to uh, top the keyway tension, start at the back, and let's see what I can get out of this baton. Click out of five. Fours. Doesn't want to play. Three, no. Two gave me something. Not much. One went. Right, another click out of five. One thing that bothers me, I can see, I can see the the key here, and there's a cut on the side, like a dimple cut on the side, and I don't know what that's for, and it kind of scares me. So, so we're gonna find out if this thing actually ever opens. I hope it does, because I can smell my dinner cooking over there. dropping pins here because nothing is actually happening so I let off my tension drop some pins I'm going to try again see what's going on around here Oh, and it's open. Wow. Uh, that was pretty weird, guys. I didn't feel a lot of a lot of movement at all on that lock. A lot of play or anything. So, I'm not sure how long it's been, but I don't care. It's a challenge lock. It's a 5-pin, too. So, that took a long time for a 5-pin. Sorry. Bumped the camera with my head. I do have a key, so let's uh, go ahead and lock it up. Key works great too. So first attempt, um, you know, if it takes, if it took too long, <laughs> I go back and watch it. I might reattempt it, and of course I'll I let you guys know the attempt number in the corner would change there. So uh, I don't know, maybe you might not see this video, but man, these tools are convenient as fuck. Oh man, but I can see this clip is already on its way out. I have more, but uh, that's one bad thing about the non-spring type clips is those clips will wear out because us uh, locksport guys are in and out of them all the time. Metal fatigue. So there's no T-pins in here that I felt. So I'm pretty safe at just throwing it through. Yeah, no problem. Let's see what he's got. Pin position here. Oh, <laughs> I see a lot of weirdness in there already. All right. So pin one is pretty much on the shear line. I mean, if you touch that, you're oversetting it. Ah, wow. Yeah, these are something. Looks like something I would make. So pin two is our standard. And three. Wow, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what these are after I get them out instead of just telling you as they come out because uh, 
some of them are hard to describe. So far, it looks like one kind of is a T-pin, but anyway, let's see what's in the top here. Two is our standard standard key pin and driver. Three is some barrel pin. That's cool. Or double spool or whatever you want to call that. Come on. Hey, another spool thing. And yeah. And the springs so far look all the same. There's only one more in there, and I think it's probably the same as well. Oh, well, it's obviously stuck in there, but um, that is what Adrian Leone threw in this lock. Look at that. Look at pin one. Key pin one. It is a T pin. It's pretty crazy, and I mean, like, if you touch that pin at all, it's in the shear line. And he made it teed, so it, that's easy, very easy to put in the shear, shear line to overset pin one. Uh, and then you have very, very cool double spool. Yeah, and a bunch of other uh, spools and serrations on these key pins. A lot of spools. Really nice pins in this lock, Adrian. And uh, thank you, Pick Me, for sending it to me. Uh, that's it, guys. I'm going to get this lock back together. Have a good one, and uh, don't break any laws.